um, well, first you're going to multiply 8 times 30, and then 8 times 2, and add them together. Okay, so you're breaking apart the 30 into, you're thinking of it like this, 8 times 30 plus 2. And then you're going to multiply the first part together, 8 times 30. Which is 240. 240. And then... 8 times 2, which is 60. And then what are you going to do with and those partial products? Add them together, which makes 256. 256. Okay. And that's the distributive property we've been using in math. That's excellent. Okay, so this was Lana. Who else had something that you noticed when we were looking at these numbers in the products? Anish? Oh, mine was just one thing is that 4 times 64 is the same as 8 times 32. These two problems are actually the same? Mm-hmm. And, and related, what makes you think that, Anish? They're related because, um, so like, the left side of the factors, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And since you're dividing it by 2 on um, the left side of the top equation, then you multiply it by 2 on the right side of that equation, and then that equals 4 times 64. So if you're multiplying them and dividing them by the same number, then they, the product is the same number. So what Anish is saying is if Lana said that 8 times 32 is 256, he is saying that the product of 4 times 64 is also going to be? 256. I want you to turn and talk and see if you agree with that. Turn and talk and say why. How can you prove that that would be true? Because 8 times plus 32 is 